Okay, full point so far. Peso's team. So Alexandra, normal, abnormal. Abnormal because? Free fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, so the wall is thickened, it's swimming in the free fluid. So this is just to highlight that free fluid is a secondary sign. <laughs> um, sometimes you may see it without, with or without seeing the abnormal appendix. Okay, back to Megali's team. Uh -oh. uh, normal, they, abnormal. They have the easy. You know, easy one. Really? Yeah. Not an easy one. They're probably all just scans. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a big no, ugly appendix. Okay, okay, it's not your. It's not your turn. They know that. They know that. So it's not your turn. They're Okay, so Alana, you're saying abnormal, and what is it trying to highlight <laughs> as a teaching point? Yeah, it's forming, um, it's starting to form a phlegmon. Complex collection, exactly. You can see the, you can still see your landmarks, your psoas and your iliac vessel um, to the left of the screen, but definitely there is um, that circular um, phlegmon, ugly looking um, um, lesion there that's starting to form. So this is suggestive of a um, curved abdomen. Good. Okay. Pezzo and Alexandra. Don't you think it's the easy one? Yeah. Uh, I don't see. I think it's a normal one. What do you think, Alexander? I see like psoas and two iliac vessels. And maybe we see the normal appendix on top of the iliac vessel. It's hard to say. And we don't see any other secondary design. Right, Alexander? Do you agree, Alexandra? Yes. You are right. Good. So this is a normal appendix. You can see the, um, as Pezzo pointed out, there's no secondary signs. You can see your landmarks quite clearly. Um, there's not a lot of um, hyperemic fat. Um, you can see that there is perhaps a normal appendix draping over the iliac vessels. Um, it's probably the appendix. You really want to follow it to the tip to, to be sure, but it's not distended. It's probably compressible. It's definitely within normal size. Okay. Alana. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is not one that you showed us. This is normal or abnormal? Abnormal. 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 Coiled appendicitis. Right. So when you see two circles like that, it just prompts you to you know, follow the structure. It may come together. Um, it may drain into something else. So you really want to interrogate those areas. Okay, Alexandra. Um, I would say abnormal. Why is that? Um, the perpendicular fat is uh, hyperemic. Where, where can you point it out with the with the pointer where you're seeing the fat? Um, show us again. Can you describe it? Sure. So, um, I think it's so as muscle like what we see, and on the left side we see some lady shadow with some bowel gases, and on the right I see iliac vessels, and I have to tell you. For me, it's normal. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but, but I would call it normal. Yeah, so this I put there to kind of almost tri trick you guys, because it does look, um, at first when you see the psoas in the center of the screen, you're wondering, oh, is that like a big, ugly collection? But um, really, as you're um, scanning more, you can see that can it's see actually that the typical... Yeah, so it's actually the typical um, kind of stake-like appearance of the psoas that can have some bright areas within it, and that's just the muscle fibers. So that's actually normal psoas muscle. 
Um, you, as you scan a little bit more medial, you can see the vessels coming into view on the right there, Even the um, and you can see the appendix draping over it. And actually, that area uh, where the appendix is, there's no hyperechoic fats around it, um, and the size of the appendix is very, very small. So sorry, the appendix. Yes. Yeah, so it looks like it's probably that um, probably. small, small tubular structure that's draping over the vessel yeah. right now, okay. right around there um, in that right upper area of the screen there, um, medial to the psoas muscle. So this one's tricky because you would look at the psoas muscle, get confused, we but that's get one the of point. them. Uh, yeah, we discuss point. it together. <laughs> huh? we get the right, right, right. Okay. Um, okay, my guy and Alana, <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, and what is that? Yes. Yeah, I was about to show you the appendix. It's kind of weird to have a level in the appendix. Yeah. But, yeah, or like full of pus. It is some fluid. So it's just like pus and fluid above. Yeah, so this is appendicitis with some debris and it has some free fluid wedges around it. So it has some kind of a tube in it, but maybe just like some innovation. You see up yeah. on the left side? It's true. Yeah, like, so like to the left of the screen just there, something. it may be a G2 or, shunt or, or a PP yeah. shunt. Yeah. So an incidental finding that was caught by Dr. Nier. I can't pause it. <laughs> Extra points. Okay. Extra points. <laughs> Right there, where you see the um, uh, reverberations, um, horizontal lines, brightness. Sorry, I can't pause the video, but just one last what? look, and then we'll move on. So this kid had what? Ah, what? This is a penicitis with is it debris. A right there. I can't yeah, breathe. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. Okay, back to Pezzo and Alexander. Back to Pezzo. Here we see a big mess. Okay, how about Pezzo? Don't say anything yet. Alexandra, what do you think? I think it's the first time she see like images of appendicitis. It's hard. Yeah, it took us like, it, it took us like six great. months to try to understand know, well, what we are seeing. And you wanted great. to answer like, you let her talk. <laughs> We're being recorded, guys. Our bickering. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I will help you because it's hard to see <laughs> because there's a lot of mess inside. You don't think you're supposed to know that. Okay, Pezzo, can you describe with your words for the people yeah. listening in what it is that was? Yeah, I see in the middle of the screen, I see an acoustic shadow that probably come from appendiculite just in the middle of the screen. And there is a lot of mess. That's the best word I can describe with a lot of thick and bow loops around it. So it's very suggestive for some kind of a peripheral. Or, or nothing, as you know, as well. <laughs> uh, but, uh, this is definitely appendicitis with appendicolith, as um, Pezzo pointed out. So sometimes when you see acoustic shadowing can be confusing because, you know, is it just shadowing from air? Is it shadowing from um, from different, like, content within the, within the gut? So we talk about clean versus dirty shadows. So here you can see it's a, quite a straight shadow, quite a clean line. So it suggests that That's it's probably... That's a nice term, Michelle. Yeah, clean versus dirty. Mm -hmm. So it's a clean acoustic shadow, suggesting that it's probably like a solid appendicular that's absorbing all the ultrasound waves, so nothing is getting through. Versus if you're seeing dirty shadowing, then there's some transmission, some absorption, and so you do see some um, some shadows behind it, not as crisp as you would behind an appendicular. Okay? All right, Alana. Yeah. All right. This one's a bit trickier. So, you have a bow and loop on top of the source. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's weird. But, I also, but you do have like just uh, medial to the vessel. A little bit of hyperechoic fat, maybe. And then here, like there is, like the beginning of the clip, there is a kind of little hyperechoic structure. Is that psychotic? Normal or abnormal, no, friends? <laughs> no shadowing, though. What do you say? Normal or abnormal? <laughs> Take your bet. Yeah. I think it's normal. Normal. Yeah. 
it's a normal scan. So um, this is just. But, but, but because they took their time, I think we're supposed to <laughs> track like at least like <laughs> point one. Something. So this is to show <laughs> that um, yeah. bowel bowel loops <laughs> with stool inside can sometimes be confusing for is it dilation? Is it a normal a di distended appendix? But um, what can help you is um, if you do that graded compression technique, you can sometimes push it out of you. Or if you're stopping on it, you can see peristalsis and the fluid content moving quite smoothly and it's um, draining into another um, another part of either the small bowel or the large bowel. Um, and so if you're seeing a loop, it's just important to, um, if you're suspicious, to follow it on either ends to make sure that it does um, it is not a blind end um, and that there's um, no secondary signs. I just want to comment is I think people can see from our like uh, responses like when it's abnormal I think it's a lot more easier to us to say well there's something abnormal let's try to find it when it's normal things for us yeah. like it's a little bit more complicated is it really normal are we like so just like is intuitive approach to the game like usually if there's something abnormal like it stands to be out more, more yeah easy for more you to obvious. say there's something abnormal yeah so um Pezzo was just highlighting that when it's normal sometimes it can be tricky because you could see bowel loops and it becomes a bit hard to judge but that's another um reason why we should scan more um abdomen so that you get used to seeing what is a normal scan versus um secondary signs, even if you don't see the appendix, the more that you see, the more that you'll be able to recognize um, normal versus abnormal. And if um, even if you can't diagnose appendicitis on the spot, if you can identify it ab as abnormal, um, you, it prompts you to take that next step of getting comprehensive imaging. Whose turn is it now? I think it's Alexandra and Pezzo's turn. Yeah. So first, ab more normal or abnormal? It looks abnormal. Okay. Uh, and what is it? The, the, the patient, the, I mean, the scanner was very gentle. It needs to push a little bit hard. Uh, but we can, I will help you, Alessandra, or you want, you want to speak? Um, I don't know, I try, but I, in fact, this is not yeah, it's not, it's not possible to compress. Yeah, so probably. I don't know how hard they're compressed. And we can see like the appendix, and we can see even like a shadow in the end, the tip, uh, the like piece. appendicular in the tip, and we see some hot fat around the tip. Uh, and here it's the transverse cap, but we can see like the shadow. Yeah. Again, alternating. So you guys are right. This is showing appendicitis with an apodicolith at the end of the clip with the, cl with the clean shadowing beyond the apodicolith. And there's um, um, there's uh, hot fat around it. There's some thickening in the um, in the wall of the appendix. And um, if you measure it, it's probably just about the pressure.